attended and are recognized today's game day sponsors, Commercial Bank. We thank you for your continued support of UAM Athletics. Alumni, students, faculty, staff, and friends, welcome to the 98th Annual Homecoming Pre-Game Activities at the University of Arkansas at Monticello. Today we are joined by the UAN Marching Band, the pride of Southeast Arkansas for this activity. Presented to you, the 2022 Homecoming Royalty at UAN. Recognizing first, Grace Lee. Grace is a 21-year-old daughter of Tony and Curtis Lee from Monticello, Arkansas. Grace is a senior double major in accounting and finance. She is a member of the Missionary Baptist Student Fellowship and the Institute of Management Accountants, where she serves as the president. She was the 2020-21-2022 Student Government Association Senator a student activities board member, and she is a student worker in the chancellor's office. Grace is sponsored by the Institute of Management and Accounting. She is escorted today by her father, Curtis Lee. Home to the name, Grace Lee. J. Michelle Saunders. Is the 21 year old daughter of Trent and Michelle Saunders from Warren, Arkansas. Jay is a senior Bachelor of Science in Nursing major. She is a member of the UAM Student Nurses Association and serves as president. She was a UAM cheerleader from 2019 to 2021, serving as a recruitment leader. She is a member of the Baptist Collegiate Ministries and is a student worker for the UAM Athletics Department. Jay is sponsored by the UAM Student Nurses Association. She is escorted today by her father, Trent Saunders. Homecoming maid, Jay Michelle Saunders. Anna Marie Ward is the 20-year-old daughter of Kendall and Kimberly Ward from Texarkana, Texas. Anna is a senior communication major with an emphasis in media. She is a member of the UAM debate team, UAM band and color guard, Lambda Phi Eta Communication Honor Society, Sigma Tau Delta English Honor Society, the UAM Debate Society, and the UAM Choir. She serves as the vice president of the debate society and the vice president of Lambda Phi Eta. She is also a member of and serves as the president. 
worker or intramurals and recreation. Anna is sponsored by Pi Delta Delta. She is escorted today by her father, King O'Rourke. Scholarship. 
main event is sponsored by Kappa Alpha Order. She is escorted today by her father, Brian Roberts. Home to the main, Anna Beth Roberts. Becca Nichols is the 21-year-old daughter of Alan and Susan Nichols from Monticello, Arkansas. Rebecca is a senior exercise science major. She is a member of the Missionary Baptist Student Fellowship and the National Society of Leadership and Success. She is a UAM ambassador and serves as president. Serves as a student representative on the Curriculum and Standards Committee and works as a student worker in the UAM Admissions and Special Student Services. Rebecca is sponsored by the UAM ambassadors. She is escorted today by her father, Alan Nichols. Home to the maid, Becca Nichols. Colleen Kilgore is the 21-year-old daughter of Rodney Kilgore and Megan Minor from Atlanta, Texas. Colleen is a senior animal science major. She is a member of the UAM volleyball team, the UAM pre-vet club, and the UAM debate team. Colleen is sponsored by the pre-vet club. She is escorted today by her grandmother, Brenda Hensley. On to name, Colleen Kilgore. Old daughter of Craig and Tammy Wynn from Star City, Arkansas. Anna is a senior accounting major with an emphasis in management. She is a member of the Missionary Baptist Student Fellowship, National Analytic Council, and the National Society of Leadership and Success, and Phi Beta Lambda, serving as vice president. She is a member of Alpha Sigma Alpha Sorority, serving as the National Analytic Council delegate. Member of the Director of Programs and Institute of Management Accounts, the Vice President of Operations for the UAM Student Activities Board, and a student worker for UAM Testing, Careers, and Tutoring, and is a student representative on the UAM Curriculum and Standards Committee. Anna is sponsored by Phi Beta Lambda. She is escorted today by her father, Craig Wynn. Home to the main, and a win. Ladies and gentlemen, your University of Arkansas at Monticello Homecoming Court. And now recognizing the 2022 UAM Homecoming Queen is Becca Nichols. <laughs> Peggy Dodds, Chancellor of the University, assisted by the 2021 UAM Queen, Janiah Brown, will crown Queen Nichols and present her with roses, the Queen's sash, and an engraved tray. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Becca Nichols! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand, face the flag for the playing of the national anthem, and remain standing for the UAM alma mater performed by the UAM marching band.
Okay. Go ahead and start feeding it down the line. And Terry Hartness is the last one. Okay. All right, I'm going to plug it up, and that way it... Uh, to Washita Baptist last week. And, uh, of course, UAM coming off a loss to Southwestern Oklahoma State, who is at 3-2. and two. Looking at the conference standings, here we go. Here's how the conference stacks up coming into today's ball game. Washita Baptist University out of Arkadelphia at 5-0. They're perfect on the season. Henderson State, 4-1. Horning is 4-1. UAM at 3 and 2, East Central at 3 and 2, Southwestern Oklahoma State at 3 and 2. And then you've got Arkansas Tech, Southern Arkansas, and Southeastern Oklahoma at 2 and 3. Oklahoma Baptist at 1 and 4, Southern Nazarene at 1 and 4, and Northwest Oklahoma State at 0 and 5. Today's games we'll see at Cliff Harris Stadium in Arkadelphia, Washington Baptist taking on Southwestern Oklahoma State. That ball game actually began at 12 noon today. It was homecoming there for the Tigers. And then Henderson State is hosting East Central Oklahoma. Or excuse me, that game's in Ada, Oklahoma at Keo Isho Stadium. Ball game set to kick off at 2 this afternoon. Southern Arkansas is on the road to Durant, Oklahoma. And they take on Southeastern. And then uh, Harding is on the road to Southern Nazarene. They take on Southern Nazarene. They're in Bethany, Oklahoma. And Arkansas Tech is on the road to Shawnee. So the only teams playing in Arkansas are Washita, Baptist, and UAM. The only teams playing here in Arkansas. And we'll see how things come out this afternoon because, uh, you know, you look at some of the standings and uh, if, Washita Baptist were to slip up somewhere. Somebody else could be right there in the mix for the conference championship. And UAM at uh, UAM coming in at three and two, looking to get right back in second place this afternoon if they can pull off the win here today against Northwest Oklahoma State. We're just a few moments away from the kickoff of this afternoon's ball game. We got more to do, more to talk about on our pregame show. When we return, right after this timeout.
Back here at Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium, I'm Jimmy Sledge. It's homecoming as the Bow Weevils get set to take on the Rangers of Northwest Oklahoma State. And looking at uh, the remaining schedule for UAM, of course, they have Northwest Oklahoma State this afternoon. And then we'll play Washita at Arkadelphia next Saturday. It's a 1 o'clock tip-off, kickoff. Then we take on Harding University and then Southeastern Oklahoma East Central Oklahoma and Southern Arkansas. We have one more final road trip to to Oklahoma. That will be Southeastern on uh, October the 29th. Next week, we travel over to Arkadelphia to take on Washita. So the meat of the schedule coming up for the Bow Weevils. Today's game probably should be the easiest of the final five games that we have remaining uh, coming up. And... You look at it, the Weevils needing to get a win here this afternoon. But as you heard Coach Jackson talk about on the pregame show, the Weevils take no team for granted. as uh, They can't afford to do that. And you come in, and here in the Great American Conference, you definitely can't afford to take a team for granted uh, on any Saturday. Anybody can beat anybody in this conference. We've seen that proven over the years, and no different than it is this year both teams are making their way out onto the field the captains are out at midfield well and uh, for the coin toss we'll take another break we'll come back and tell you who won the coin toss when we return right after this timeout Back here at Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium, we're set for the kickoff. Northwest Oklahoma State won the toss. They have deferred to the second half, so UAM will get the football to start this afternoon's ball game. Beautiful afternoon, not a cloud in the sky. A little warm, but uh, we're set for football here in southeast Arkansas as the Rangers will kick it off. A high, short kick going to be fielded at the five-yard line and return back up. It's going to be over the 10 to the 15, out to the 20. As on the return for the Bow Weevils is Dorian Manuel, and he'll be downed at the 22-yard line. And that's where the Weevils will start, first and 10, at their own 22-yard line. Need to remind you that, or need to tell you that, coming up after the ball game tonight, the Baptist Ministries will be showing uh, Top Gun, Maverick, on the big screen here at the stadium. So if you want to come out, it's open to the public. Bring your lawn chairs and come out and watch the ball game. Demayan Brown will start at quarterback. Going to do a little shuttle pass. It's going to be up and complete. 
going to be to LaCedric Smith. LaCedric turns the corner. He'll get a yard out of it out to the 23 is off. And bring up second down and nine for the Bull Weevils. UAM moving from south to north, from right to left on your radio dial. Here in this first quarter of action. Brown again out of the shotgun. One receiver on twin receivers now on either side. Fakes it to LaCedric. Brown keeps it himself. Brown trying to get around the edge. Not much there. He'll gain a yard out to the 24-yard line and bring up a third down and eight for the Bow Weevils on this opening possession of the afternoon. 14.09 remaining here in the first quarter. No score. Checking in the ball game for the Bow Weevils. It'll be the tight end, Caleb Bonin. He'll line up on the short side, ball on the right side of the, uh, the right hash mark. Third and a long eight. Brown wanting to throw, dumps it out of the backfield. It's going to be complete. And it's going to be out over the 30, out close to the 33, make it the 34-yard line, make it the 33. It'll be good for the first down. As making the catch there was Gennaro Scott out of the backfield. That'll move the chains and be a bow evil first down out at the 33. First and 10, UAM here on the opening drive of the game. Brown again quickly, up tempo. This time hands it off, Gennaro. Gennaro, big hole out over the 35, the 40, 45. Midfield going to be in Ranger territory and down at the 49-yard line. Gennaro Scott on the run, and the Weevils move the chains again. A gain of 17 on the play. First and 10, Bo Weevils up tempo straight to the line of scrimmage. Twin receivers wide right, handoff. This time it's going to be Dorian Manuel. Manuel straight ahead. It's going to be good for a couple of yards down to the 47-yard line. And he's going to be stopped there, making the stop for Northwest. Jacob Scott. And there's a... Northwest was off size before the play, so we'll back up and replay the down. We'll take the penalty. It'll be first and five. We'll spot the football down at the Ranger 44-yard line. First and five. Oh, the Bow Weevils, now they've moved the chains, and it's first and ten. Okay. We'll take that. Now the officials are going to call timeout. They're going to have to reset the chain gang over there. It should be first and five. Chain gang should not have moved. So they'll come back and reset the chains. They got it straightened out. First and five for the Bull Weevils from the Ranger, 45-yard line. Opening possession of the ball game, Weevils. One to throw, DeMayan looking, throws over the middle. It's going to be complete, a short pass, a short gain. As coming up with a catch for the Bone Weevil is going to be Jordan Mansfield, ran in a drag pattern across the middle. Not much there as he gains it down to the 41-yard line. It'll bring up second down and two, a gain of three on that last play. DeMayan. Again, hands off this time. It's Dorian Manuel straight ahead. Dorian's got the first down and more as he carries it inside the 35 down to the 33-yard line. And we'll move the chains again for the Weevils here on this opening drive. Manuel picks up the first down. 11.55 left to play first quarter. Opening drive of the game. Weevils started at their 23. First and 10 now at the Ranger. 33-yard line. Twins on either side. Brown wanting to throw on first down. Brown forced out of the pocket, rolling to his right. They're giving chase. He'll throw it deep down the field. He's going to throw it away. Good coverage down the field by Northwest Oklahoma. Brown will live to play another down. It'll bring up second down and 10 for the Bow Weevils. Ball spotted at the Ranger 33-yard line. On the left hash mark, wheels moving from right to left. Twin receivers go wide to the right. That'll be the wide side of the field. Brown again wanting to throw. Now rolling to his right, looking. Throws short, incomplete, down at about the 22-yard line. Pass intended there for Caleb Jacobs. So it'll bring up a third and long for the Bull Weevils. 
Ian Nash will check out of the ball. Ball game at tight end. Bonine checks in at the tight end spot. He'll line up on the right side. That'll be the wide side of the field. Third down and 10 for the Bull Weevils. Opening drive of the game. Northwest puts eight in the box. They're going to hand it off. Janero Scott breaks a tackle at the 35. He's going to get it back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. So not much there. The Weevils will look at fourth down and 10. And you're almost in no man's land. Ball is spotted at the 33. You're too far for the field goal attempt. Too close to punt. Weevils are going to go for it. On fourth and 10 from the Rangers, 33. First possession of the game. Trip receivers go wide right. Brown rolling to his right. Pressure coming. Steps up in the pocket. In trouble. Now throws into a crowd. It's going to be incomplete. Now flags come in late. We're going to have pass interference called against Northwestern Oklahoma. We're going to get Isaiah Wallace, the defensive back there. He was all over the back of the intended receiver, LeCedric Smith as the officials discuss things. If they actually call pass interference or holding. Flags are down at the 27-yard line. Let's see if we can get the call down on the field. Pass interference, defense number 13. Be an automatic first down for the bow wheels. It'll keep the drive alive, and they'll have it first and 10 at the 26-yard line of Northwest. So first and 10 bow wheels by virtue of the penalty. Scott's back in. Gennaro back in at the running back. He'll take the handoff. No nope. play action to him. They throw the Wide receiver screen out to Caleb Jacobs. It's complete inside the 25. He'll have about five yards down to the 23-yard line. Now they say he stepped out at the 24. So a gain of only two. Second down and eight. Second down and a long eight. Empty backfield this time for Brown. Demaya with twin receivers on either side. Tight end set to the short side of the field. Brown, quarterback keeper, right up the middle. Demaya carries it down close to the 22-yard line. That'll be a gain of two on the play. He'll bring up second down and a third down and six. 10-13 to play in the opening quarter. We have no score. Opening drive of the ball game. We will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Now have it third down and six from the Ranger, 22. As they'll look into the offensive coordinator over here, Ryan Lusby, for the play. He'll call it in. Weevil's all set. Put Smith in motion. Do the pitch to him on the end of the round. Smith turns it up, gets it to the 20, and that's all. A gain of about two on the play. But he gets it in the middle of the field. It'll bring up a fourth down and three. So fourth and three, Weevils again will leave the offense on the field. They've gone for it on fourth down already once. They're one for one on fourth down conversions. Now line up here, fourth and three from the 20-yard line of the Rangers. Rangers put seven in the box. Brown looking over the defense, wanting to throw on fourth down. Forced out of the pocket, rolling to his right. He's got room. He's inside the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Bull Weevils. Demayan Brown from 20 yards out. Everybody was covered. He tucked it and ran, and the Weevils are on the board, and they lead 6-0 here in the first quarter. With 9-0-1 remaining. The extra point attempt coming. McKnight will attempt the extra point out of the hold of Caleb Jacobs. Try and give the Weebles a 7-0 lead here in the first quarter. Snap is high, gets it down. The kick is on its way, and it is no good. Wide to the right. 6-0, Weebles lead it with 9-0-1 remaining in the opening quarter. We'll be back and more UAM football right after this timeout.
The Weevils go up 6-0. The extra point was no good. 9-0-1 remaining here in the opening quarters. They take the opening drive and go 78 yards in 11 plays. Demayan Brown caps it off with a 20-yard quarterback draw. Or quarterback, he's forced out of the pocket, a quarterback run. And the Weevils are on top 6-0. But, boy, that extra point really hurt. As... UAM will get set to kick it off. Again, it's homecoming here. Great crowd on hand. Overflow crowd, even having to sit over on the Vistra side for UAM. Folks standing all around the track. And it'll be a beautiful afternoon for football here this afternoon. Weevils will get set to kick it off. Make as... Handling the kicking duties this afternoon on the kickoff. So who we got? Number 93, that is Zachary Grassotti. He'll handle the kickoff duties. McKnight handles the extra points. Grassotti will kick this one off toward the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. And Northwest will get it first and 10 at their own 35-yard line following the Kickoff out of bounds. So we'll see what the Weevils defense can do here as UAM leads 6 0 here in the early going with 9 1. Took the opening possession, 78 yards for the score. UAM defense has been pretty stingy all season, only allowing 20 points per ball game. Northwest at quarterback will be Tanner Clarkson, 6'3", a 216-pound redshirt junior out of Platte City, Missouri. As they'll work with uh, two backs in the backfield and a tight end set. They'll send one back in motion wide to the left. One to throw on first down. Fires over the middle. It's going to be complete over midfield into Bowieville territory and down to the 40-yard line. Is making the catch there. It's going to be Kobe Washington, their leading receiver. They'll move the chains. It'll be a first down on the first play, and they'll go up tempo as well. No huddle. For the Rangers, they come to the line of scrimmage. Then they look into the sideline. First and 10, Rangers at the Weevil 40-yard line. 8.34 to play, opening quarter. Weevils lead it 6-0. Clarkson again out of the shotgun. This time he'll hand off to his lone setback, number 24. It's Darian Gio. Gio hit behind the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose two yards. As the Weevil defense got the penetration there and coming up with the stop for UAM. It's going to be Jordan Mans. Nope, that's going to be uh, Deshaun Jackson. So it'll bring up second down and 12 now for the Rangers. Ball spotted at the Weevil 42-yard line. Clarkson, the quarterback, fakes it, keeps it himself. Clarkson, a 40, the 35, going to be tripped up and brought down at the 33-yard line. And he may be shaken up. He's going to get up limping there. It's coming up to make the stop for the Bow Weevils leading tackler on the team, Katron Allen. That'll be a gain of eight on the play. I'll make it ten on the play. It'll be third down and two. 
So third down and two on the opening drive for Northwest Oklahoma. UAM leading 6-0. They go with a bunch set to the right, bunch set to the left. Everything's tight. Send an end in motion. Quarterback will keep it himself. Clarkson dives, goes inside the 30 to the 29. He'll have the first down. Clarkson needed two, and he got three. Making the stop for the Weevils there is going to be uh, Cliss Brayer, a senior out of Columbus, Mississippi, for the Bow Weevils, making the stop, playing the defensive end spot. First and 10, Rangers. Ball spotted at the Weevil 29-yard line. Weevils lead it 6-0. Rangers trying to answer on their opening drive here of the first half. Clarkson out of the shotgun. A lone setback is Gill. Wanting to throw. Whistles come in before the play gets started. We're going to have an offside a procedure call against the offense. So they'll start behind the chains. It'll be first and 15. As they'll back them up five, mark it back just shy of the 35-yard line. Need to get down just inside the 20 for a first down. So first and 15 for the Rangers. Torrance Stevens, wide receiver, will go in motion, line up on the left side. They go with twin receivers, wide left now, with twin backs in the backfield. Clarkson. One to throw, steps back, looks in the pocket, has a man wide open at the 20 to the 15, down to the 10 to the five, dives to the one yard line. As making the catch there was number three, that is Terrence Stevens. Stevens lined up as the flanker on the inside, ran a little wheel route, and quickly back to the line of scrimmage northwest, right up to the line. Clarkson, the quarterback keeper, right up the middle. Not going to get in from the one. It'll be second and goal from the one inside the one-yard line. With 5.42 to play here in the opening quarter. UAM leading 6-0. Now we've got an official timeout. Got an injured Weevil player down on the field. Those big defensive linemen. The trainers will go out and check on him along with Coach Jackson. They'll check on him. Homecoming here today. Been a great crowd, great uh, activities going on all week long. Got a great crowd here on hand this afternoon for the ball game. The player shaking up for the Bow Weevils is Trey Hand. He's 6'2 out of New Orleans, Louisiana. He's going to walk off the field under his own power. Where's number 99? So hopefully he'll be okay. It'll be second and goal from just inside the one and a half yard line. Inside the one. Rangers go back to the shotgun. Gill alone sat back in the pistol formation. Twin receivers come wide right. Clarkson. Look over the defense, now calls for the snap. Leaves it with Gill. Gill trying to dive toward the goal line, and yes, he's in for the touchdown. Darian Gill, sophomore from San Antonio, Texas, goes over from one yard out. We've got a tie ball game at 6-6 with 5.20 to play here in the opening quarter. Northwest can take the lead here with the extra point. Don to attempt it will be Caden Taylor. Out of the hold of Braden Reichert. Reichert gets the snap down. The kick's on its way, and it is good. The Rangers take the lead, 7-6 over the Bow Weevils. 5.20 to play in the first period. We'll be back with more UAM football right after this timeout.
The Rangers of Northwest Ark, Northwest Oklahoma take the lead seven to six here in the first quarter with 520 remaining as they answered UAM's opening drive. Northwest goes 65 yards, took them 11 plays. And they get on the scoreboard with a one yard run from their tailback, Gill. As they'll get set to kick it off. To the Bull Weevils. Again, UAM moving from right to left here in this first quarter of action from south to north. There is a, about a 10 mile an hour north wind, so the Weevils will be going into the wind for the remainder of this first period as Northwest will kick it away. To the high end over end kick fielded by Dorian Manuel at the two. Dorian back up to the 10, to the 15. Going to be hit there and be stopped shy of the 20 yard line. They'll stop him at the 18. And the Weevils will start their second possession of the afternoon from their own 18, trailing by one. Seven to six. There's a flag on the kickoff. See if we can pick up what the call is on the play. Holding the call against the Bow Weevils on the kickoff return. They'll mark it half the distance to the goal. So it'll be back at the eight yard line. And that's where the Weevils will start in the shadow of their own goal post. First and 10 from their own eight yard line for their second possession. Demayan Brown out of the quarterback spot. He'll stand at his two when he gets the snap. Gennaro Scott in the pistol formation behind him. Lone receivers on either side. Brown looking into the sideline, throws complete to LeCedric. Smith makes the catch out over the 10, out to the 11. Positive yardage, but a short gain. And bring up second down and five. So second down and five now for UAM as they'll spot it out near the 12-yard line. They'll stay in the same formation. One receiver on either side, tied into the short side of the field. Gennaro Scott, the lone setback. Blitz coming from the outside. Brown unloads it quickly. He sees it coming, throws it out of bounds. Brown did a good job to recognize the blitz coming from the outside. Just unloaded that one to get rid of it. It'll bring up third down and five now. So third and five. Theron Bellin, a happy birthday from his family from Dallas, Texas. Number 51. All right, happy birthday to him. So well, on the radio, here we go. Brown wanting to throw on third and five. Forced out of the pocket. Ball comes loose. It's on the ground. A scoop. And Northwest is going to go into the end zone for the score. Oh, wow. Demayam was scrambling to his right. The ball came loose. Northwest will scoop it and score as they dive into the end zone and take a 13-6 lead. Man, oh, man, what a turn of events. Demayam was forced out of the pocket, rolling to his right. As he went to the ground, the ball came loose. And the defender for Northwest Oklahoma State was able to scoop it and dive into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Rangers lead it 13-6 with a point after a tip coming. As we await the snap, 4.22 to play in the quarter. Snaps down, kick on its way, and it is no good. Missed wide left. 13-6. Northwest leads it here at Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium. We're back with more UAM football right after this timeout.
sponsor, Clark Contractors, Commercial Lake, Drew Memorial, Drew County Farm Bureau, Ryder, Paradigm Fitness, Dairy Queen, Domino's Pizza, and Mid-South Sea. We thank each of you for your continued support of UAM Athletics. Thirteen to six, Northwest Oklahoma State is taking the seven-point lead following the fumble and the scoop and score by Northwest Oklahoma State as their defense puts points on the boards to give them the lead here. 4:22 to play in the opening quarter. Homecoming here on the campus of UAM. Northwest trying to be the spoiler here as they take the lead. Their kicker will tee it up, get set to kick it off. That's Connor O'Neill. Been kicking it about to the 10-yard line. He'll kick this one to the 5. Dorian Manuel on the return to the 10, the 15, the 20. Out to the 25. Going to be out to 30. Flags come in at the end of the play as Dorian returns it out close to the 33-yard line. But let's see what the flags are all about. You know, on the last return, Weevils had a holding call that set them back inside the 10-yard line. And another hold here. Another holding call here on the special teams against the Bone Weevils. So it'll be in out close to the 33. They're going to mark it down. It's going to be back to the 17 yard line. First and 10 Weevils from their own, make it the 16 yard line. Demayan Brown, your quarterback. Gennaro Scott, the lone setback. He'll line up in the pistol behind Demayan. Going to leave it with Gennaro. Gennaro following the block. Gets out over the 20, out to the 21. A gain of five on the play for Gennaro. And the Weevils will look at second down and five now from their own 21-yard line. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Four-man front defensively. Handoff again to Gennaro. He's caught in the backfield. Going to be lose the football. It's picked up again. They're going to say it's down, though. Gennaro was down. By contact, back at the 16-yard line. So a loss of five on the play, but a break for the Weevils. They blow that ball dead because Northwest had scooped it. They've already had one scoop and score. So the Weevils maintain possession. It'll be third down and 10 from their own 16-yard line. With 3.20 to play in the opening quarter, Northwest leading 13-6. to six. Brown wanting to throw. Here comes the blitz from the outside. Brown's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked again. Back inside the 10, back at the 9-yard line. Northwest has nothing to lose. They can bring the house. They're looking for their first win of the season. And they all force UAM to punt it away for the first time this afternoon from their own end zone. Coming in to punt it, it's going to be Grazidio. He'll stand about eight yards deep in his own end zone to punt it away. Northwest should get excellent field position. Back deep for the return, Isaiah Wallace. Gets a high, wobbly kick. It's end over end, headed toward the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds inside the 40. They're going to spot it back somewhere around the 35-yard line. Yep, that's where they mark it, at the 35. That's where Northwest... Oklahoma State will have the football with a short field to work with, leading 13 to 6, 232 to play here in the opening quarter. It'll be Northwest Oklahoma State football at the Weevil 35-yard line. The Weevil defense got to find a way to make a stop here. Early in the contest with 232 to play in the opening quarter. The quarterback now is Kobe 
Washington, looks like. Nope, number four. They, he's going to hand it off to his tailback. He's going to be hit for a yard loss. As Gill getting hit in the backfield, making the stop for the pole weevils, it's going to be Donde Fuller. So it'll bring up a second down and 11. The cornerback now is Dakota Michaels. So he's not the starter, but he'll be in at quarterback now for the Rangers of Northwest. Out of the shotgun, wanting to throw. Going to throw this one over the head of his intended receiver. He got leveled as he released the football. And coming through for UAM was Demarius White, the linebackers. UAM blitzing that time. Forced him to throw it before he wanted to. He paid for it. Third down and 11 now for Northwest from the Weevil, 36-yard line. Under two minutes left to play in the first period. Northwest leading 13-6. UAM's crowd coming to their feet. Wanting to throw. Play action. Now he's going to keep it himself. Ball is uh, going to be the quarterback. He'll not get it back to the original line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down and 11 now for Northwest. Again, that was Dakota Michaels on the carry, on the stop for the Bow Weevils. Demario Cleves coming up to make the stop. And Northwest is going to come on and punt it away, it looks like. Ball spotted at the 36 of UAM. They're going to try to pin the Weevils back deep. Caleb Jacobs will... Go back as a return man for the Bow Weevils back at the 10-yard line. On the punt, it is going to be Zach Stone, left-footed kicker. Caleb calls for a fair catch at the 6-yard line, and the Weevils will start first and 10 from their own 6-yard line with one minute remaining here in the opening quarter in the first period. Northwest Oklahoma State leading 13-6. The Weevil offense, after that opening drive, has struggled the last two series. Fumbled the football and gave up a scoop and score to Northwest and then had to punt it away on their third possession. Brown calling for it. Hands it off to Gennaro. Gennaro hit at the line. He'll fall. No gain on the play. No gain there for Gennaro Scott as Coming up to make the stop on him. It's going to be uh, Nehemiah Lewis. He's 6'2", a 245 pound senior out of Garland, Texas. Quickly, UAM snaps the football. They'll get it out to Gennaro. Gennaro out over the 10. Going to be out close to the 14 yard line. Going to bring up a third down and two now for the Bow Weevils. UAL up tempo again. Handoff, Gennaro. Gennaro's got a lot of room this time. Out over the 15 to the 20. He's got the first down. Out to the 21 yard line is Gennaro Scott. Just running off tackle. Picks up the first down. That'll move the chain. Dorian Manuel checks in at, at running back now. Trip receivers. Go wide to the right. Ball on the left hash mark for the Weevils. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter before we snap this football. 13 to 6. Northwest Oklahoma State has a seven point lead over our UAM Bowl Weevils. The first 15 minutes are in the books. We'll be back with second quarter action for you here from Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium when we return in just a moment.
13 to 6. Northwest Oklahoma State leads it after one quarter of play. UAM will have it first and 10. Ball spotted at their own 21 yard line. Brown going to be hit and dropped in the backfield for a loss as he dropped back to pass back at the 15 yard line. Oh my. A loss of six. And again, this Northwest Oklahoma team, they're not holding anything back. They're blitzing, they're coming hard. Second and 15. Brown again out of the shotgun. Twin receivers come wide right. Brown steps up. Quick pass to the flare. It's going to be to Mansfield. Mansfield makes the catch out near the 20-yard line. We'll get about five yards of that back. It'll be second down and 11. Need to get out to the 31, make it third down and 11. UAM going with no huddle. Dorian Manuel, the lone setback on third and 11. Four-man front defensively. They're showing the linebackers going to blitz coming here. They back it off. Rush four. As Demayan throws it over the middle, it's going to be incomplete. Like intended there for Caleb Jacobs. Underthrown and brings up a fourth down. Another punting situation now for UAM. So Northwest hoping to get good field position once again. They lead it 13 to 6. The return man for Northwest, Isaiah Wallace, will stand at his own 45 yard line. Grisotti, Zachary Grisotti, the kicker, the punter. Out of Anaheim, California, will do the punting. Stands at his own five-yard line when he gets the snap. It's a good snap, straightaway punter. High, wobbly catch. Going to drive the man all the way back to the 35. Return to the 40, up to the 45-yard line, and finally brought down there a 10-yard return following a 40-yard punt. And Northwest will have it with pretty good field position. First and 10 at their own 45-yard line with 13.51 left to play in the first half. And Northwest leading 13-6 to six here on this Saturday afternoon. Homecoming festivities been going on all week long. Great crowd on hand this afternoon to watch the ball game. Glad you're with us on the radio or on the stream. As the Weevils trail 13-6. So Northwest Oklahoma State, Northwest looking for their first win of the year. Wheels come in at three and two on the season. Let's see who the quarterback is this series. The quarterback is going to be Dakota Michaels. He's a senior out of Lucas, Texas. He'll work out of the shotgun. Have twin receivers, one on either side. We wait for the officials to get things started here. First and 10, Rangers at their own 45-yard line as they lead it 13 to 6. We're still waiting on the officials to blow it in play. All right, here we go. Michaels out of the gun, going to hand it, keep it himself. He faked it and keeps it himself, goes straight ahead out to the 46, a short gain of one. When you go back and look, UAM had it blown up. That was uh, Demarius White, the linebacker, came through. He took the handoff guy and just creamed him in the backfield. The quarterback had to keep it. Gains one, second down and nine from their own 46. Again, Michaels out of the shotgun. Puts a back in motion, wanted to throw. Looking, going deep down the middle of the field. Ball is going to be incomplete. Intended down there for Kobe Washington. As defending on the play for the Bow Weevils was Daquan Street. UAM forces them to a third down and nine now. From their own 46-yard line. With 13-13 left to play here in the first half. Third and long. Michaels out of the shotgun. One back in the backfield. That's going to be Gill. But on third and nine, twin trip receivers come wide left. Gill comes in motion. Michael steps up in the pocket. Now in trouble. Throws it into the sideline. Going to be incomplete. 
as he has hit just as he releases the football. Ball goes incomplete. Alferni Hakins making the hit on him. And Northwest is going to be forced to punt it for the first time this afternoon with 13.05 left to play here in the first quarter, or first half, make it. 13 to 6 our score. Northwest with the lead. As going back deep for the Bull Weevils. It's going to be Dorian Manuel. He'll stand at his own 15-yard line. A little pressure. They get the kick off into the wind. It's going to hit at the 25. Take a Ranger bounce inside the 20 down to the 18-yard line. And the Weevils once again. Not a very good starting field position. We'll start inside their own 20 at their own. Uh, they're going to mark it at the 19-yard line where the Weevils will start this possession. Their average starting spot here in the first half has been inside the 20. They took their opening drive. Actually, it was at the 22-yard line, their opening possession, and they went 78 yards for the score. To take a 6-0 lead, the extra point was no good. Southwest has come back with 13 unanswered points. One was a 65-yard drive. The other was a three-yard scoop and score by Southwest for them to score their points here this afternoon as they lead it 13-6 to six over the Bow Weevils. Both teams are on the sidelines. Official timeout down on the field. We'll keep it right here as it's a warm afternoon, you know, even though it's a beautiful fall, Saturday afternoon in southeast Arkansas. I think we're up in the, the low 80s as far as the temperature goes. If you're a fan, it's a beautiful weather. If you're down on the field playing, it's still pretty warm. The officials are trying to get everybody back out on the field. UAM needs some offense after that first possession that they drove, 78 yards. Since then, they've gone to minus 20 in total offense. General Scott, the lone setback. Demayan Brown, your quarterback. Twin receivers wide to the left. Hand off to Gennaro. They run the reverse. That's going to be to Mansfield. Mansfield at the 20. Mansfield cuts it up, dives out over the 25 to the 26-yard line. As that'll be a gain of six on the play. Make it seven on the play and bring up second down and three now for the Bow Weevils as the Weevils ran in reverse to the wide receiver, Mansfield. Second down, we'll call it second and a long two. Brown, one to throw on second down, dumps it to the battle of the backfield to Gennaro. Gennaro breaks a tackle, he's out over the 30, he's gonna be run out of bounds. At the 31-yard line, that'll move the chains, and it'll be a first down for the Bull Weevil. Out at the 31-yard line, first and 10. 12.05 left to play, first half. Weevil's down by seven, 13 to six. Handoff in the backfield, Gennaro. This time he's hit behind the line of scrimmage, going to lose a yard. They'll mark it back inside the 30. A loss of almost two on the play. Gennaro will check out. Dory Manuel will check in at running back. Second down and 11 now for the Bull Weevils. Brown, play action, rolling to his right, looking over the middle, fires complete to Mansfield, out over the 40. He gets upended right at the first down marker. He'll have it as Mansfield with the catch. Holds on to the football, and UAM will move the chain. Jordan Mansfield, the redshirt freshman out of Bastrop, Louisiana. Quickly, UAM up-tempo, back to the line. Handoff goes to Dorian. Manuel, left side, turns it up, out over the 40, out close to the 45-yard line. It's going to be a gain of three on the play and bring up second down and seven. Fast-tempo ball game. Neither team going with a huddle, both of them up-tempo. Anytime they make a positive play, they're right back up on the line of scrimmage. Weevil looking at second down and seven from their own 45-yard line. Trailing by seven, 13 to six, our score. Brown wanting to throw. Steps up in the pocket, fires over the middle to the tie in. Ian Mesh, it's in and out of his hands. Down at the Ranger 47-yard line. The tight end, Mesh couldn't pull it in. 
So third down and seven now for the Bow Weevils. Ball on the left hash mark. Northwest is going to call a timeout here with 10.37 to play in the first half. A timeout on the field. 13 to 6, the Rangers of Northwest Oklahoma State with the seven point lead. We're back in just a moment. As we come back to Conway Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium, 13 to 6 our score. The Rangers of Northwest with the lead over the Bow Weevils. UAM looking at third down and seven from their own 45 yard line with 10.37 left to play in the half. Demayan Brown, your quarterback, straight drop, one to throw, dumps it off to Dorian Manuel. It's complete over cross midfield. He's got the first down in Ranger territories. He'll carry it down to the 46 yard line. And that'll move the chains for another first down for the Bow Weevils. Big third down conversion there. Keeps the drive alive for UAM. Back to the line of scrimmage. Brown, again, wanting to throw. Forced out of the pocket. Rolls right. Dumps it off in the flat out here to Dorian. Emmanuel this time is going to be dropped for a loss of a couple of yards. Coming in to make the stop on him is Johnny Steele. Steele, the big defensive lineman from Mustang, Oklahoma, drops him for a two-yard loss. Second down and 12 now for the Bow Weevils. Mansfield, Caleb Jacobs, and the Cedric Smith. Three, three receivers go wide left on second and 12. Handoff's going to go to Gennaro Scott. Scott caught at the line. He'll dive forward for a yard, and that's all. Gennaro with one tough yard there. Brings up third down and 11 now for the Bow Weevils. As that was Juan Lisa making the stop on Gennaro. Third down and 11 now for the Bow Weevils. Tamayan will work out of the shotgun. Gennaro Scott's a lone setback on third and 11. Tamayan, straight drop, four-man rush. Tries to deliver it over the middle. The ball is going to be deflected and going to be incomplete. Intended for little Cedric Smith. The linebacker was covering him, coming across on a drag pattern across the middle. And the Weevils will look at fourth down and 11 from the Ranger 46-yard line. They'll have to punt it away with 9.03 left to go here in the first half. Trailing 13-6. Northwest with the lead. By seven. Hopefully we can swap into the field with Northwest here. The return man, Isaiah Wallace, stands at his own 10 and waits to punt. High end over end kick. It's going to hit at the 15, take a Ranger bounce and go out of bounds back up field, back up close to the 20 yard line. They'll mark it just shy at the 19. So the Rangers will have their worst starting field position of the afternoon. Back at their own 19-yard line with 8.51 remaining here in the first half. And the Rangers leading 13-6. to six. Quarterback is their backup. Their starter must have gotten injured. I hadn't been able to find him on the sideline over there. But the quarterback now is Dakota Michaels. He's a senior out of Lucas, Texas. He'll work out of the shotgun. Put a wide receiver in motion, hand it off to the tailback, Gill. Gill across the 20. He'll get it out close to the 23-yard line. A gain of four on the play. It'll bring up second down and six now 
for Northwest Oklahoma. He's getting up off the bottom of the pile for the Bow Evils, making the stop there. It's going to be Chris Blair. On second down and six. Quarterback again. Play action. Throws a little hook pattern over the middle, complete at the 30. Going to be out close to the first down marker. That's making the catch out there for Southwest or for Northwest Oklahoma. It's going to be Brian Gonzalez. It will be good for the first down as they'll spot it just outside the 30-yard line. We go under eight minutes left to play in the first half. Again, Northwest leads it 13 to 6. Both teams scored on their opening drives, and then Northwest pinned UAM back deep. Wheels fumbled it, and they had a scoop and score to take the lead. One to throw, quarterback rolling to his right, looking down the field to the sideline. Throws, it's going to be caught out of bond the 40, but it's going to say it's out of bounds. Pass goes incomplete. Making the catch out there was Torrance Stevens, but uh, wasn't in bounds. So it'll bring up second down and 10 now for the Rangers from their own 30-yard line. That'll stop the clock. 7.41 to go here before halftime. Dakota Michaels again works out of the shotgun. Pistol formation. Gill is going to hand it off. Nope, fakes it to Gill. Keeps it himself around the right side. Michaels carries over the 35 out to the 37-yard line. It's going to be a gain of seven on the play. And bring up a third down and three now for the Rangers. Ball in the right hash mark. Up tempo they go. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. The offensive line moves, and we're going to back them up five. It's only the second penalty of the afternoon against Northwest Oklahoma State for 10 yards. But instead of third and three, it'll be third and, third and eight. So big third down play here for the Bow Evil defense with 7-12 to play before halftime. Northwest leading 13 to 6. Michaels on third and eight. Straight drop. Blitz coming. Unloads it into the sidelines. Going to be underthrown and incomplete. Michaels went to the ground. He was hit as he released the football. Coming through for the Bow Weevils to put the pressure there was Jordan. Uh, excuse me. That's going to be Deshaun Jackson. Nope, number 15. I'll get it right here in a minute. That's Alfredi Hankins was there to put the pressure on him. Going to bring up a fourth down and long now for Northwest Oklahoma. Manuel goes back deep. Soccer-style kick. Punt is away. It hits it to 30. Picked up at the 21. Manuel back up over the 30. He's going to be hit and knocked out of bounds. Up near the 35-yard line, just shy of the 35, it's a 34. The Weevils will have it first and 10 with 6.48 remaining here in the first half. Trailing 13-6, to six. Northwest with the lead. The Weevils needing some points here out of this drive. They at least need to get positive yardage, a couple of first downs anyway, and again, keep them pinned back deep in their own territory. Jordan Scott, the lone setback for the Weevils. Swim receivers go wide left. Twins come wide right. Ball in the right hash mark. Weevils moving from left to right. Brown wanting to throw. Quick pass complete. That's Caleb Jacobs out over the 40. Jacobs out to the 43-yard line. Going to be about a yard shy of the first down. And Caleb will pick up nine. Bring up a second down and one. Nash checks in at tight end. Handoff, Gennaro Scott. Scott's got the first down as he carries out over the 45, out close to the 47-yard line. A gain of four on the play. Move the chains. It'll be a first down for the Weevils now at the, their own 47-yard line. Boy, I mean, this is really up-tempo. They're back to the line of scrimmage and ready for the next snap. Brown calling for it. Brown. Hands off, Gennaro picks his way through the middle. He's going to get a yard, and that's all, out close to the 48-yard line. Not much there for Gennaro on that carry. Second down and nine, Bow Weevils at their own 48-yard line. 
They go with twin receivers wide left. One comes wide right. This time, they're going to hand it off to Scott again. Scott this time hit in the backfield. Going to be a drop for a two-yard loss all the way back at the 46. Wow. Demayan read him in, the, in his belly and decided to give it to him, but there was nowhere for him to go. Gennaro gets dropped for a two-yard loss. So third and 11. Weevils go empty backfield. Now Brown steps back. Gennaro's back there at the pistol formation. Straight drop back. Blitz coming. Brown forced out of the pocket, running to his right. He'll keep it across midfield at the 40. Brown to the 35, to the 30, gets tripped up from behind down at the 25-yard line. Demaya Brown doing what he does best, and that's moving on the run. He'll pick up the first down and more as that's a 27-yard run by Demayan Brown and gives the Weevils a first and 10 at the Ranger 25-yard line. 13-6, Rangers lead it by seven. Brown dumps it off to the flat to Gennaro Scott out of the backfield. He's across the 25, going to be down close to the 22-yard line, a gain of only five on the play, it looks like. Gennaro with the catch. We'll call it a gain of four. Second down and six as they'll mark it at the 26-yard line. First, second down and six for the Bull Weevils. Ball's on the left hash mark. They'll spend two receivers wide right, two wide left. Brown, straight drop, looking wide open. As Mansfield goes right through his hands at the 15-yard line. Well, Mansfield didn't expect to get the pass, but it went right through his hands at the 15 there's a flag on the play. A sideline warning called against Northwest Oklahoma. So nothing's going to happen there. It'll remain second down and six for the Bow Weevils from the Ranger 26 yard line. 4.15 left to play before half. Northwest leads it 13 to 6. Brown, blitz coming, rolling to his right, avoids the pressure, looking, he's going to keep it himself. Brown at the 20, to the 15, he's going to run out of bounds, down close to the 10-yard line. And the Weevils will be inside the red zone, looking at first and goal from the 10-yard line. Brown felt the pressure, they had the blitz called. He had nothing to do but run the football, and Demaya. Moves the change for the Weevils. First and goal to goal from the 10. Trailing by seven. Weevils trying to tie it up if they can score and kick the extra point. Handoff goes to Gennaro. Gennaro is going to take the carry up the middle. He's going to get a yard out of it down to the nine-yard line. Not much there for Scott. It'll be second and goal from the nine. Bo Nine is in at one tight end. You've got uh, Ian Mesh in at the other tight end. So they go with the two bigs on the end. One receiver on either side. The Cedric Smith on the right. Mansfield on the left. Handoff to Gennaro. Gennaro going to be caught in the backfield and a big loss all the way back to the 19. Make it the 18-yard line. A nine-yard loss. Northwest with the run blitz there. Number 42 coming through and making the tackle for them. That is Alangelo Aaron. It'll be third and goal from the 18-yard line for the Bull Weevils. As we're down to 241 left to play here before halftime. Weevils needing points, trailing 13 to 6. Third down and goal from the 18. Twin receivers come wide right. Rangers stack the blocks, bring the blitz again. Brown in trouble is going to be sacked back at the 30. Wow. Rangers get the pressure again. Coming through this time to make the stop on Demayan Brown was uh, Bryce Mike, the linebacker. It's going to put the ball all the way back at the 31-yard line. Weevil's going to have to try a field goal here as Grisotti will come on. Zachary Grisotti. The ball is at the 31. 
So this will be about a 47, make it a 48-yard attempt from the left hash mark for the right-footed kicker. On fourth and goal from the 31. And now Northwest Oklahoma State going to call a timeout with a minute 35 left to play before half. 13 to 6 our score, Northwest leading. We'll take a break and be back with more in just a moment. As we come back out of the timeout, Grassati, a 48-yard field goal on the way, and it is good with a minute 28 left to play before half. The kicker for the Weevils. Grassati gets the kick from 48 yards out. Zachary makes it good out of the hold of Caleb Jacobs, and the Weevils pull to within four, 13 to nine. UAM trails. Northwest Oklahoma State, we're going to keep it right here. Before halftime, with a minute 28 left to play, Weevils will get set to kick it off. But wow, they, Northwest took the time out to try to ice him. And with the win, Grassati gets it to go from 48 yards out. 13 to 9. Northwest with the lead over the Bow Weevils here at homecoming at Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium. All right. Now in the kickoffs, it's going to be Grassati. Northwest will send a couple of players back deep. Grassati has the wind at his back. Hopefully, he can kick it into the end zone for no return. It's a high end over end kick. This one's going to carry and go. Into the end zone, they're going to return it from two yards deep. Back up, Gill out over the 5 to the 10, the 15, 20, 25, 30. Going to be finally run out of bounds beyond the 30-yard line, out at the 34. Nice return by Northwest Oklahoma from three yards deep in the end zone. Out to the 34-yard line. I think it's a 33 is where they're going to mark it. It'll be first and 10 for Northwest at their own 34-yard line with a minute 18 left to play here before half. Northwest has two timeouts. I'll make it one timeout remaining. I'm sorry, one timeout. Their quarterback is their backup quarterback, and that is Dakota Michaels. With one timeout to work with, Northwest leading 13-9. One to throw. Michaels looking to the far sideline. Throws complete. They'll step out of bounds at the 45. As that'll be good for 12 yards and a first down. He gets out of bounds. Stops the clock there with a minute 13 left to play here before half. Ball's on the right hash mark. Again, Rangers moving from right to left. As we try to end the first half. Michaels again. Last time wanting to throw, has time. Now he's forced out of the pocket, rolling right, throws it. It goes up in the air, and it's going to be incomplete. It was actually picked off, but out of bounds. So they go down as an incomplete pass and bring up second down and 10 now. But that only took four seconds, five seconds off the clock. A minute four left to play here before halftime. Second down, 10 for the Rangers from their own 45-yard line. Northwest leading 13 to 9 over the Bow Weevils. UAM's going to rush three, drop eight back in coverage unless they bring a linebacker. No, they're going to rush three. Michaels with all day still back there. 
Rucking, looking, throwing deep down the sideline. It's going to be picked off. And UAM will pick it off, and then he falls down immediately. As Gibbon coming up with a reception, Katron Allen gets another interception. That's his fifth interception of the year. It will be back at the 26-yard line, but the Weevils get it back with 52 seconds remaining here before halftime. And Weevils have all three timeouts left. Trailing 13-9. Weevils take the field. Ian Mash in at tight end. He'll line up here on the wide side of the field with trip receivers on this side as well. Caleb Jacobs, LaCedric Smith. Both wide right, one goes wide left. Brown calling for the pass for the football. Now flags come in, let's see. Delay a game called against UAM. Didn't have the right personnel. It took a long time for that play to get set up and then end up getting a delay a game. So it'll be first and 15. They'll spot it back at the 21 yard line. Um, Make it 50 seconds remaining to play here in the first half. Brown straight drop. They'll rush four. Brown steps up. Now he's going to run it himself. Out to the 25, headed for the sideline. He'll step out of bounds around the 30-yard line. It's going to be a gain of almost eight on the play. But he'll stop the clock with 43 seconds remaining here before halftime. They'll mark it out at the 29 of UAM. Second down and six. Brown again. Steps back. Steps up. Now throws deep down the field. Going to overthrow Caleb Jacobs down at the 30-yard line. Throwing in a double coverage. That'll stop the clock with 37 seconds left to go before half. And the Weevils looking at third down and seven now from their own 29-yard line. Northwest leads it 13 to 9, our score. Brown will throw again. This time throws short, complete to Mansfield. Mansfield out over the 30, out close to the 33. He's going to be short of the first down. Didn't get the first down. Stayed in bounds, so the clock will continue to run. It's fourth down and three now for UAM. And the Weevils may just let time expire. And go in at halftime and try to regroup as they trail by four, 13 to nine. Coach Jackson looking at the clock. Weevil's going to let time expire. As we'll head to the intermission, Weevil's down by four, 13 to nine, our score. The Rangers of Northwest Oklahoma State have made the long trip all the way from. Northwest Oklahoma here to Southeast Arkansas, and they have a four-point lead here at the half as both teams head into the locker room. We'll take a break. We'll come back with our halftime show for you when we return in just a few moments. Thank you. 
Hall of Fame inductees. Included in this group are Sarah Hayslip Santo, who played softball from 2009 to 2011. Darrell Hill, who played men's basketball from 2016 to 2018. Ricky Owens, who played baseball from 1975 to 1979. And Becca Tipton Greenwood, who played softball from 2006 to 2010. We welcome you back here at halftime. Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium, the Weevils Trail, the Rangers of Northwest Oklahoma State University by a score of 13 to 9 as we recap the score for you. Weevils got on the scoreboard first. They took the opening kickoff and went 65 yards in 11 plays. A one-yard run by Gennaro Scott put the Weevils on top 7 Six nothing. The extra point was no good. Rangers took their opening drive of the ball game and went 72 yards in 11 plays as well, and took them uh, put them up seven to six. And then on the next possession, the Weevils got pinned back deep inside their own 10. As the Mayan Brown rolling to his right fumbled the football, Northwest Oklahoma State scooped and scored. And made it 13 to 6 as the extra point was good. No good on the second field uh, touchdown. So 13 to 6 is where we stood. Rangers led by 7. Weevils end up getting a 48 yard field goal late in the first half from Grisotti. Grisotti, the kicker, Zachary, kicked a 48 yard field goal. That capped off a 7 play. 34-yard drive for the Weevils. They get points on the board, but they still trail at halftime. 13 to 9, our score here at the half. Northwest Oklahoma State has a lead over our UAM Bull Weevils here this afternoon. Uh, as we are here on KHBM 93.7 FM. Weevils trail 13 to 9. We'll take a break, come back and look at some individual numbers for you when we return right after this timeout. We welcome you back here to Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium. 13 to 9 our score. Northwest Oklahoma State with a four-point lead here at the intermission. Looking at some of the numbers here of the first half. First downs, UAM with 12. Northwest with 5. 
Rushing yards, UAM with 95 on the ground, while Northwest with 22. Passing yards, UAM with 65. They went 12 of 20, DeMillion Brown did, for 65 yards. Northwest had two quarterbacks. Their starting quarterback, Clarkson, went two for three for 59 yards. And then Michaels came in. He went two for eight with one interception for 18 yards. So you go look at total passing yards. They're four of 11 with one of a, one interception for 77 yards. UAM 12 of 20 for 65. Total offense here in the first half. UAM runs 49 offensive plays, 160 yards. Northwest 21 plays for 99 yards, but they have a four-point lead, and that's all due to that scoop and score that they had defensively there in the first quarter when UAM got pinned back deep as uh, Northwest leads it here at the half by a score of 13 to 9 the UAM marching band performing we're going to pick up a little bit of their action down on the field and listen to the marching pride of South Arkansas the UAM marching band band performing here at halftime at homecoming northwest oklahoma state leads it 13 to 9 here at the half here at convoy leslie cotton bowl stadium we'll take a break we'll come back we got some more stats to talk about when we return after this timeout
Our score 13 to 9 here at the half. Northwest Oklahoma State with the lead over the Bull Weevils. UAM jumped out to a 7 0 lead. They took the opening drive and went 65 yards. I'll make it 78 yards for the score. As uh, the Weevils went 11 plays, Gennaro Scott finished it off with a one yard run. Weevils went up 7 0. Northwest answered. Or they went up 6 0. Make it the point after was no good. Northwest answered. They had a 65-yard drive in 11 plays. Again, they made their extra points, so they led 7-6. And then on the next possession, Weevils were pinned back deep in their own territory, inside their own 10. Demayan Brown was sacked. The ball came loose. Northwest Oklahoma State was able to scoop and score. They missed their extra point and made it 13-6 was our score. Weevils got a 48-yard field goal. They're late in the first half to get on the board. Zachary Grassotti was able to get the kick through from 48 yards out. That's where we stand at 13 to 9 as far as our scoring goes here uh, on the afternoon. You look at uh, my stats just changed on me, so we'll see if we can't get them back. As they look at that, let's go with team stats and see if we can come up with that. No, that's not what we want. And we want the split box on our team stats. Oh, that's just disappeared, so we don't have any of that. But uh, Demayan Brown was the leading ground gainer for the Weevils here in the first half. As you young rush for 55 yards in the first half and threw for 105, 160 yards total offense for the Weevils in the first half of football. Hey, we're at home here today. It's homecoming. We're back on the road next week as UAM will travel to Arkadelphia to take on Washita Baptist. And uh, we've got one more Oklahoma trip coming up in a couple of weeks before we wind up the season, but that's all we've got. Four more games remaining in the season after today's game. There are five more games. My apologies. Five more games remaining after today. Weevil sitting at three and two coming into today's game while Northwest Oklahoma State was 0 and 5 coming into today's ball game, looking for their first win and trying to pull off the road upset here at homecoming. At Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium. We'll take another break and we'll come back with more UAM football right after this. Let's give a big round of applause to our contestants. Thank you, Dominic. 
13-9, our score. Northwest Oklahoma State with the lead over the Bow Weevils here at halftime. Checking some other scores from around the conference. East Central was leading Henderson State 14-7 at the half. It was uh, Southeastern Oklahoma State leading Southern Arkansas 14-7 at the half. Harding up on Southern Nazarene, 35-14, that ball game at the half. Arkansas Tech and Oklahoma Baptist are scheduled to play tonight at 7 o'clock. And then it was Washita Baptist up on Southwestern Oklahoma State, 63-24. to That is a final. That ball game kicked off at noon today as the Weevils. Uh, hold on just a second. We'll be right back. I'll take another break. We'll come back right after this timeout. As we come back to Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium, the Weevils trail here at halftime, 13 to 9. Northwest Oklahoma State has the four-point lead. UAM jumped out to a 7-0 lead as they took the opening drive and went uh, 78 yards for the opening score of the game. Northwest answered with a 65-yard drive of their own. And uh, UAM missed their extra point. Northwest made theirs, so it's 7-6 after both teams scored. And then Northwest got on the board next after a scoop and score. Demayan Brown was caught deep in his own territory inside the five, fumbled the football, and Northwest was able to scoop and score it. They led 13-6 to six before the Weevils got a 48-yard field goal just before halftime and trailed by four here at the half. Northwest Oklahoma State won the opening toss. They deferred their option to the second half, so it will be the Rangers football to start the third quarter here. They will move from right to left in the third quarter, from south to north. UAM will have the win at the back, which has been blowing this afternoon, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the north-northeast. So we'll see if the Weevils can take advantage of the wind in the third quarter as they get set to kick it off. Grisotti will tee it up for the Bow Weevils. And a high end over end kick going to be fielded at the six yard line and returned up over the 10 to the 15. Going to be the 20 25. Finally ridden down out beyond the 30 out near the 35 yard line and that's where the Rangers will have it first and 10 but hold on there's a flag back near the 20 yard line. We'll see what the flag is about before we spot the football. Personal foul. 
Illegal blind side block. Return team number 14. Personal foul called against Northwest Oklahoma State for an illegal block. Well, that's going to mark them way back. That happened around the 20-yard line. That's where the flag went. They'll mark it half the distance to the goal. So they will start this first possession back at their own 10-yard line. First and 10 for the Rangers from their own 10-yard line. As we're just underway here to start the third quarter. Homecoming. 2022 for the Bow Weevils. It's been a big week on campus. Big game today. Big crowd on hand. And right now the Weevils trail by four. The quarterback is Dakota Michaels. Who's their second string quarterback. Their backup. Their starter went out early in the first quarter. Michaels throws this one complete. A wide receiver screen out over the 10. Out close to the 15 yard line before he's finally brought down there. As making the catch over there for Northwestern is going to be Travis Romar. He'll gain about four on the play, bring up second down and six. And marking at the 14. Same play, another wide receiver screen. Romar gets it again. He's got it out over the 20. He's got the first down as he'll be run out of bounds out near the 22 yard line. So a gain of eight on the play, and to bring up a first down for Northwest Oklahoma. First drive of the third quarter. Rangers lead it by four, 13 to nine, looking for their first win of the year. Weebles at three and two coming into today's ball game. Michaels again out of the shotgun. This time he's going to play action. Another pass going to be thrown, going to be incomplete. There's another wide receiver screen. This one falls in and out of the hands of Romar. He's been the target the last three times. So the incomplete pass will bring up second down and 10 from their own 21. Michaels again with twin receivers on either side. One to throw again. Straight drop. Now forced out of the pocket. Running to his left. Throws it out here in the flat for the back out of the backfield. Going to be overthrown. Intended for Gill out near the 30-yard line. He had the linebacker for the Weevils covering on the play. That's D.K. Henderson, Jr., sophomore out of Baton Rouge, covering on the play. It'll bring up a third down and 10. Weevil defense needs to make a stop here. First possession of the third quarter. Rangers have picked up one first down, looking at third down and 10 now. Michaels out of the gun. Twin receivers come wide left. He'll empty backfield. Michaels looking, firing over the middle. It's going to be complete out over the 32. Going to be very close to the first down marker. He's hit immediately. It's coming up. It's going to be street on the defense for the Weebles, but not before they pick up a first down. Needed 10, got 11. The market out at the 33. First and 10, Rangers. Ball spotted on the left hash mark. Rangers moving from right to left here in the third quarter. Michaels again wanting to throw. Throws this one low. Out there in the flat, no good. That's incomplete. Intended for Torrent for Isaiah Kellum make it. He'll bring up second down and 10 now. Just underway, third quarter, first possession. Rangers with the football leading 13 to 9. Over the Bow Weevils. They come out and decided they want to throw the football. Every pass, every play has been a pass play. Weevils will show five up on the line. They're going to hand it off to Gill this time. Big hole out over the 40. 45 runs out of real estate, and he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 45-yard line at the 44, but that'll be good for a first down. And the Rangers will move the sticks again, have it first and 10 at their own 44-yard line. So Rangers come to the line of scrimmage, no huddle, up-tempo. They go back to the line. They'll call the play in from the sideline. Michaels, the quarterback, this time an inverted wishbone behind him. He'll send one half back in motion. Michaels steps up in the pocket. Now he's forced. He's going to be running himself. Across midfield, down inside Bowieville territory, down to the 46-yard line. 
A gain of 11 on the play. It'll be another first down. The Rangers on the move here in the third quarter with 12.27 left to play in the third. Opening drive of the third quarter. Rangers leading 13 to 9. First and 10 from the Weevil, 46-yard line. Ball still on the left hash mark. This time Michaels. A little zone play. He's going to hand it off to Gill. Gill carries it across the 45, down to the 44. Flags come in. Short gain of two, but let's see what the flags are all about. It's going to be against the Rangers. A holding call against the Rangers. That's going to back them up 10. It'll be first and 20 now for Northwest as they'll spot it all the way back at their own 44-yard line. It's only the sixth penalty of the game against the Rangers. Weevils with four penalties in the game. Six penalties for 45 yards. Weevils, four penalties for 30 yards. Michaels this time hands off again. Gill, Gill hitting the backfield is going to be dropped for a law or no gain on the play, actually. May get a half a yard, just shy of the 45. Weevils come through defensively and making the stop there is going to be James Dealey. Big 6'2 senior out of central Louisiana. We'll call it second down and a long 19. Gill stays in it running back. Michael's your quarterback. Twin receivers go wide right. Now Gill goes in motion out in the flat. He throws over the middle. It's wide open, complete at the 40 of UAM. Cuts to the right at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 10, the 5. Dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Northwest Oklahoma. Making the catch in the run was going to be Isaiah Kellum. Caught a pass right over the middle. And was able to go in for the score. Northwest is taking their biggest lead at 13 at the moment. I'll make it 10. I'm sorry, 10. 19 to 9 with the extra point coming. They can go up by 11. They go up by two scores anyway, two possessions. As they take the opening drive here of the second half, march it down the field and get the score. Snaps down, the kick's on its way, and it's good. 20 to 9. Northwest Oklahoma State leads it. 10.59 to go in the third period. Don't go anywhere. More UAM footballs coming your way right here on KHPM 93.7 in just a moment. Twenty to nine, Northwest Oklahoma State extends their lead to eleven as they take the opening drive here in the third quarter, and they end up going seventy-three yards in seven plays to extend their lead to eleven, biggest lead of the ball game now for Northwest Oklahoma State. As we have uh, ten fifty-nine left to play in the third quarter, took them. Three minutes and or four minutes and one second for that opening drive here in the third period. As their kicker gets set to tee it up, Connor O'Neill. 
Manuel's on one side, Caleb Jacobs on the other. Jacobs is going to field this one up at the 10. Caleb up over the 15 to the 20 to the 25. He'll be hit at the 26-yard line. That's where the Weevils will have it first and 10 at their own 26. A late flag comes in after the play has been blown dead, and everybody's getting up and headed back to their respective benches. There's going to be a late flag come in. You just hope it's not against the Weevils, but it looks like that may be the case. As Northwest gets up celebrating and clapping their hands, the officials are discussing things. So we'll see what uh, comes out of it. Unsportsmanlike conduct call against the Weevils. Can't hear the official with the call. His microphone's not working, but they are going to mark the penalty off against UAM. It would have been spotted at the 26-yard line. Going to mark the penalty back off inside the 15. All the way back to the 13-yard line. That's where the Weevils will have their first possession here of the second half. First and 10 at their own 13-yard line, trailing by 11. Damayan Brown out of the shotgun. Gennaro Scott in the pistol formation behind him. Going to hand it off Gennaro. Gennaro trying to run to the right side. Gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half a yard. Not much there. Is coming up to make the stop for Northwest Oklahoma. It's going to be Riley Myers, a linebacker, a sophomore out of Kingfisher, Oklahoma. We will stay up tempo, though. They're quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Brown wanting to throw. Has time, now forced out of the pocket. He'll keep it himself. He'll get it out close to the 19-yard line. It'll be a gain of almost four, almost five on the play. And the Weevils looking at third down and a long five. Rangers stay in a five-man front. Demayan. Throws this one. It's tipped at the line of scrimmage. Goes up in the air. Just luckily it's not intercepted as that one got tipped at the line of scrimmage. Went way up in the air. Carried over almost out of bounds. Getting a hand on it for Northwest Oklahoma State was Joseph Saunders, the linebacker. And the Weevils are going to go three and out on their first possession. Trailing here 20 to 9 with 10.02 left to play in the third quarter. Gracidio will come on to punt it away. He'll be standing at his own five. Northwest should get excellent field position out of this. Good snap. Gracidio, high, wobbly kick away from the return man. Goes, bounces at the 40. He's going to pick it up at the 35. and going to be hit immediately at the 35-yard line. So no return, a 45-yard punt. And no return, first and 10 for the Rangers at their own 35-yard line here with uh, 9.50 left to play in the third quarter. Weevil defense has got to find a way to stop this Ranger offense here this afternoon. And you go back and look, they haven't done that bad of a job all afternoon. That last drive was the longest drive that Northwest has had all afternoon. But not a way you want for the Weevils to start the third quarter. It'll be first and 10 Rangers from their own 35-yard line when play resumes following the official timeout. Again, it's homecoming here on the campus of Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium. Been a lot of activities, a lot of great tailgating went on this afternoon out there in the tailgating area. Crowd has hung around. (coughs) Excuse me, they're here. Got the stands at capacity. On the home side, will overflow for UAM on the visitor's side. All right, first and 10 for the Rangers from their own 35-yard line as they lead it by 11. 20 to 9, our score. Now we're waiting on the officials to blow it back in play. Michael's your quarterback. Gill is the lone setback. That's Darian Gill. He'll line up in the pistol. Going to leave it with Gill up the middle. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. 
Coming through for the Bow Weevils to make the stop there is going to be Maurice Latavelle. Lyman out of uh, Pago Pago. Short game, we'll call it a gain of a, a yard, second down and nine. Now for Northwest, they go with twin receivers wide right, one comes wide left. We will stay in a four man front defensively. Michaels again hands it off. Gill, Gill, a short gain again. He's going to be stopped after. About a yard gain, making the stop there for the Bow Weevils is Chris Blair coming across. It's going to bring up second down or third down and eight now for Northwest Oklahoma. Weevils need to get them in a three and out here as they trail by 11 with 8.53 to play in the third. 20 to nine, Northwest leads it. Big third down conversion here, third and eight from their own 37 yard line. Michaels sends Gill in motion. Michaels rolling to his right. Michaels looking. Now he's gonna keep it himself at the 40, lowers his shoulder. He's got the first down over the 45 out to the 47 yard line. And the quarterback that time just tuck it and ran. Picks up the first down. That'll move the chains and keep the drive alive for Northwest Oklahoma State. You look at Michaels, he's a big quarterback. He's got a brace on his left leg. He's the second string quarterback. Dakota Michaels listed at 6'1", 208 pounds. First and 10 for the Rangers from their own 47. Michaels play action. Steps up in the pocket, fires to the far sideline. Going to be incomplete. They're going to get a flag on the play. Going to be a defensive pass interference called against the Bow Weevil. Oh, wow. Greg Hooks, defending on the play, had his arm all over the back of the intended receiver. and They're going to get UAM for the pass interference there. So just like that, Northwest is going to be deep inside Weevil territory. Again, the official's microphone not working. Pass interference called against the Bull Weevils. They'll come back to the line of scrimmage, mark off the 15-yard penalty, and that'll put it first and 10 at the Weevil 38-yard line for Northwest Oklahoma. First and 10 from the Weevil 38. Twin receivers go to the right. Twins come wide left. Ball on the right hash mark. Michaels, play action again. Throws this one's going to be complete out there to Romare. Romare caught behind the line of scrimmage. Going to be dropped for a loss back at the 41-yard line. Going to be a loss of three on the play. Tell you what, UAM almost picked that one off. They really jumped it on the wide receiver screen, but somehow Romare was able to Grab hold of it, but the Weevil defense was right there to tackle him immediately. So a loss of three. Second down and 13. Weevils now putting five, make it six in the box. They're up on the line of scrimmage. Romare, hands off, going to hand it off to Gill. Gill breaks a tackle at the 40. He's down to the 35. Going to finally be spun down and brought down at the 31-yard line. Gain is down to the 31. It'll bring up a third down and three. Northwest, no huddle, quickly to the line. Empty backfield, quarterback draw, and now they're going to blow it dead. As Michaels took off, he was headed toward the end zone. They're going to call it dead. It's going to be a motion call and offsides against Northwest Oklahoma State. Michaels didn't let everybody get set. Instead of third and three, it'll end up being third and eight now for Northwest Oklahoma State. Ball's going to be spotted at the UAM 36-yard line. Northwest leading 20 to nine here with 6.30 remaining in the third quarter. And the Rangers will look at third down and nine. They go with Gill in the backfield. Weevil will show a four-man front defensively. 
Michaels, play action, straight drop, has time, looks deep down the middle of the field, throws, it's going to be caught at the five. He'll fall forward to the three-yard line as making the catch there for Northwest Oklahoma State. It's going to be Isaiah Kellum. His fourth catch of the afternoon, he's up to 67 yards on the day. It'll be first and goal to goal now for Northwest Oklahoma State. They'll mark it at the four. As the Rangers want to call a timeout or the Weevils call the timeout? Timeout's going to be called on the field here by the Rangers. With 548 left to play in the third, 20 to 9, Northwest Oklahoma State leads it. When we come back, it'll be first and goal for the Rangers from the Weevil four-yard line when we return after this timeout. On first and goal from the four, they'll hand it off to Gill. Gill straight ahead gets a yard, and that's all. It'll be third and or second and goal. In on the stop for the Bow Weevils that time, making it was going to be Donde Fuller. So second and goal from the three now for Northwest. They lead it 20 to 9. Here with 5.18 to play in the third quarter. Michaels, your quarterback, takes the snap again. Hands off to Gill. Gill over the right side. Hit at the one. Is he in the end zone? Touchdown, Northwest Oklahoma. The Rangers end up going up 26-9 to here with 5.08 left to play in the third. They've scored twice here in the third quarter. And the Weevils' homecoming wishes are looking pretty slim. Here on the afternoon. The extra point, the PAT coming. The snap is down. The kick's on its way, and this one is no good. Once again, it's no good. So 26 to 9, Northwest still leads it with 5.08 left to play. They go up by 15. Now it's a three-score game for the Weebles having to make a comeback. We'll take a break and be back with more UAM football after this timeout. Twenty-six to nine, Northwest Oklahoma State has opened up a fifteen-point lead. They'll kick it off. It's going to be a short kick and field and a fair catch called for by the Bone Weevils. Is making the catch there is going to be Joshua Dixon. He'll make it there at the twenty-five-yard line. Weevils will have it first and ten. They've got some work to do here in the third quarter with five oh eight remaining in the third. Down by fifteen. Got to get some offense going here in the second half. 
Brown out of the shotgun. Hands off to Gennaro Scott over the left side. Gennaro carries it out over the 25 to the 27-yard line. A tough two yards there for Scott. Make it three as he'll get it out to the 28. It'll be second down and seven. Weevils quickly back to the line. Hand off again. Scott this time on the right side. He's across the 30 out to the 31. He'll run out of bounds up around the 31-yard line. He'll be well short of the first down. Bring up a third down and a long three. Almost four. Weevils go empty backfield on third down and four. Blitz coming. Brown's going to keep it himself straight ahead. DeMayan carries just to the 32, a gain of a yard. And the Weevils are going to have to punt it away again. Going to bring up fourth down and three. And the Weevils have not been able to get any offense going here in the second half. For the second time, they go three and out. And Northwest looking to get the football back. Isaiah Wallace back deep for the Rangers. He'll stand at his own 30-yard line awaiting the punt. We'll go under four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Northwest leading 26-9. Grisotti's going to punt it away. A flag comes in on the punt. A high, wobbly kick. Fair catch called for at the 26. There's a flag back at the line of scrimmage, so let's see what the flag is all about. Again, the official's mic has not been working. Going to be offsides against the defense on the punting unit. And that will result in a first down for the Bow Weevil. So a break for UAM here in the third quarter. Well, it's the only thing that's gone their way here in the third period with 342 remaining. That will keep the drive alive by view of a penalty. And the Weevils will have it first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. As the offense comes back out on the field and tries to find something to get some rhythm going. Mansfield and Jacob split wide to the left. The Cedric Smith comes wide right. On first down, Brown going to hand it off. Gennaro Scott left side tripped up. Now falls forward out over the 40. Gennaro out close to the 43-yard line before he's finally brought down there. It's going to be a close a gain of about six on the play. Second down and four. UAM snaps it quickly. Again, a handoff. Scott. Scott keeps it on the ground over the 45. He's got the first down as he'll fall forward to the 48-yard line. Move the chains. A first down and the Weevils, I mean, really going fast. Back up on the line of scrimmage again. Snap the football. Brown rolling to his left. Play action. Brown looking. Now he's going to hold on to it. Keeps it himself across midfield to Mayan. Inside the midfield to the 45 and finally brought down there. A gain of seven on the play by Brown. Second down and three. Weevils quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Hand off Scott left side. Scott squirts his way through the line of scrimmage across the 45. He's down close to the 40-yard line. He'll have another first down for the Bone Weevils. As they'll keep it on the ground. They'll move the chains here. With 2.35 left to play in the third quarter. Trailing by 15. Manuel will check in at running back. First and 10, Bow Weevils from the 40 of Northwest. Brown wanting to throw. Quick pass in the complete. In the flat, that's going to be to uh, Madison, I believe. Let's see, number 19. That is Mansfield, make it. Mansfield complete down to the 35 as he's bumped out of bounds. Gain of five on the play. And UAM in like a two-minute offense here this entire series. Back to the line of scrimmage quickly. Brown again wanting to throw. Dumps it to Dorian out of the flat. Flat. He turns it up at the 35 down the left sideline. At the 30, he's going to be bumped out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Dorian Manuel moves the chains for the Weevils. First and 10. Down at the 29 of Northwest Oklahoma. 26 to 9. Northwest has the 15 point lead. Weevils feeling the urgency here. DeMayan takes the snap, hands it off to Dorian. Dorian hitting the backfield. And he's going to get it back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. No gain on the play that time. But Dorian Manuel trying to run it right up the middle. The tackle there made by Nehemiah Lewis. 
245 pounds senior for Northwest, making the stop. Second and 10, Bo Weevils. Jacobs and Smith come wide right. Brown, handoff. This time, Gennaro Scott. Gennaro hit at the line. He'll drive his feet forwards. He's going to get a couple of yards. It looks like maybe down to the 27-yard line. It'll bring up a third and long now for the Bow Weevils. Third down and almost eight. Ball at the 27-yard line of Northwest. Brown wanting to throw, rolling right. Brown looking, sets up, fires deep toward the back of the end zone. Going to overthrow LeCedric Smith at the back of the end zone. It'll fall incomplete, and the Weevils are looking at fourth down and a long seven with 31 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Ball will be spotted at the Northwest 27-yard line. So here we are. Got to have touchdowns. You're down by 15. End of the third quarter coming. Weevil's going to leave the offense out there. Fourth down and seven. Scott, the lone setback. Twin receivers come wide right. Mansfield goes wide to the left. Rangers showing blitz. They've got five up on the line. Linebackers are creeping up. Here comes the blitz. Brown pitches it. Option left side. Gennaro Scott. He's hit at the 25. Not going to get the first down as he'll be bumped out of bounds at the 24-yard line. And the Rangers will take over on downs at their own 24-yard line here with 24 seconds left to play in the third quarter. UAM still trails by 15. 26. Make it 17. I can't add, can I? 26 to 9. 17 points. Three possession game anyway for the Weevils. They'll turn it over on downs. Rangers first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Michaels, the backup quarterback, has come in. Dakota and done a great job for the Rangers here this afternoon. Michaels takes the snap. Play action. In under pressure. Now rolling to his right. Scrambling. He's going to be hit and bumped out of bounds. The ball comes loose. It's on the ground. They say it was down. However, with contact on the ground, back at the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play. It'll bring up a second down and 10. Weevil's going to have to gamble some on defense now. They're going to do like Northwest has done this afternoon, really bring the house, put pressure on the quarterback. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Here at Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium. Three quarters are in the books. The Weevils trail 26 to 9 as we head for the fourth quarter of homecoming game. Weevils need some help. We'll be back right after this timeout. Twenty-six to nine, Northwest Oklahoma State has the lead. We head for the final fifteen minutes, the fourth quarter coming up. It's second down and ten for the Rangers. Ball spotted back at their own twenty-three yard line. Michaels out of the shotgun. Gill the lone setback. Twin receivers go wide left. Michael bobbles a snap. It's on the ground. I believe Gill's going to fall on it for the Rangers. It'll stay with Northwest, I believe. The officials trying to un. Pile everybody. Yeah, Rangers will maintain possession. The loss will be back to the 15-yard line. 
So that's going to be a loss of eight on the play. Bring up third down and 18 now for Northwest Oklahoma. Weevils have got to have a stop. They've got to make some points happen on every possession here in the fourth quarter. Trip receivers go wide left. One comes wide right. Weevils with a five-man front. Michael straight drop. Blitz coming. He's forced out of the pocket. Throws into the sideline. It's going to be incomplete. A flag's going to come in here on the sideline. And I believe we're going to have pass interference called against UAM, I think. It happened right in front of the UAM bench. Two flags came in. As the pass was complete on the sideline, but let's see what the flags are about. Okay, still the officials. Mike's is not working. They're not going to mark off a penalty. It's going to be fourth down and 18 for Northwest Oklahoma from their own 15-yard line. So they're going to be forced to punt it away. So apparently it's either no flag called, they waved it off, what an indication by the official. Northwest going to have to punt it away. Dorian Manuel back deep, and what a punt. Over the head of Manuel, will hit at the 40. Going to bound inside the 40 down to the 35 to the 34-yard line. That's a 35, 45, a 50-yard punt, no return. And the Weevils will have it first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. With 13.57 to play here in the ball game, Weevils down by 17. 26 to 9 our score. Northwest has the lead. As we've got a timeout down on the field. Both teams an official timeout. Don't forget, next week we're on the road. We'll travel to Arkadelphia to take on Washita Baptist, the league's leading team. They remain undefeated today as they got a win over southeast Oklahoma. And looks like they are rolling. Ranked in the top five in the country in Division II football. We'll go to play them at Washita Baptist. Weevils will have it first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. 13 minutes, 57 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. It's 26 to 9. UAM trailing by 17 points. They trailed 16 to 9 at the half. Is that right? No, they trailed by four. 13 to 9 at the half. All right, Demayan Brown out of the shotgun. Hands off to Janeiro Scott. Big hole over the right side. He's out over the 40, out close to the 45. Going to be close to the first down marker. A gain of 10 by Janeiro. It will be good for a first down. Janeiro Scott. 18 carries now for 68 yards on the afternoon. He'll get the carry again straight ahead. Goes across midfield. Into Ranger territory, down to the 47-yard line. That'll be a gain of seven on the play. Second down and two now for the Bull Weevils. UAM has gone into this two-minute offense the entire third quarter and now into the fourth quarter. As Dorian Manuel checks in, he gets the handoff. A late flag's going to come in. They're going to call a horse collar tackle against uh, Northwest Oklahoma. As uh, Dorian was caught by the shoulder pad, it looked like, and brought down with one hand, making the stop on him. With Brian Holliday, 6'2", they don't list a weight on him, but he's got to be pushing 300 pounds. The flag came in. They're going to mark off the penalty against Northwest. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle on Dorian Manuel. Give the Weevils a first down. 
be a 15-yard penalty. Wow, that's going to mark it all the way down to the northwest 32-yard line. Weevils down by 17, down by three scores. Down to 13 minutes left to play in the ball game. 26 to 9, our score. Weevils first and 10. Demayan Brown calling for the snap. Wants to throw. Quick pass. Complete to Matt to uh, out here in the flat. It's going to be complete out here to Mansfield. Mansfield a short gain as he'll fall down at the 28 yard line. It'll be a gain of four. Second down and six. Weevils again quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Hand off to Manuel. Got some room at the 25. Manuel cuts back to the 20. He'll have another first down for the Weevils as they'll mark him down close to the 20-yard line. It'll move the chains. and UAM will be in the red zone for the first time in a long time in this ballgame. First and 10 at the 20. Brown. Hands off Gennaro Scott. Same play, left side. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Bull Weebles. Gennaro Scott from 20 yards out with 12-17 left to play in the fourth quarter, and it's 26-15. Weebles trail by 11 now. And now decision time for Coach Jackson. Go for one or go for two. They're going to send the kicking unit back out on the field. Go for one here. Grisotti will come on to attempt the extra point out of the hold of Caleb Jacobs. Going to have to hurry. Play clock down to six. Jacobs gets a snap. It's wide to his right. He gets it down. The kick's on its way, and it is good. 26 to 16. Weevils trail by 10 now. With 12-17 to play in the fourth quarter. Don't go anywhere. we got a lot of UAM football coming your way here on this Saturday afternoon right after this timeout. The Weebles get on the scoreboard here in the fourth quarter. Makes it 26-16. They still trail by 10, but a lot of time left in this ball game as the Weeble defense is going to have to come out and make a couple of stops now to keep this uh, their hopes alive here on homecoming. And that was Gennaro Scott who rushed for the touchdown. That puts him up to 85 yards on 13 Make it 92 yards on 23 carries this afternoon and the one touchdown. For Gennaro. 12-17 to play in the game. Weevils down by 10. And they'll get set to kick it off as Grisani gets set to tee it up. Be kicking into the wind right into the field house from south to north. Grisani. High end over end kick, head toward the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. Northwest going to get it up at the 35 yard line. So the, the Rangers will have it first and 10 up at the 35. And that's where they'll have the possession this time. Again, their starting quarterback went out in the first quarter, and they've ended up with. Uh, Dakota Michaels, he's a senior out of Lucas, Texas, and he has led his team 
here in the fourth quarter to a 10-point lead, 26-16 at the moment. Northwest with the football, first and 10 at their own 35. They're moving from left to right here in the third quarter, or fourth quarter make it. Michaels going to keep it himself, cuts back against the grain, carries out shy of the 40-yard line. He'll pick up four. Making the stop there for the bow weevil going to be Maurice Lotevel. Lotevel with the stop, second down six now for the Rangers. But, you know, they're going to try to probably keep it on the ground, let that clock run. That's becoming their biggest ally at the moment as we go under 12 minutes left to play in the game. Gill, the lone setback, Darian Gill. They'll line up on the right side of his cornerback Michaels on second down and six. Bunch set to the wide side of the field. Handed off on the jet sweep going that way. Gill caught in the backfield, going to be dropped for a loss. Coming through for the Bow Weavers to make the stop for the loss back there is going to be James Dealey, 6'2 senior out of Central Louisiana. And the loss is all the way back inside the 35, back at the 33-yard line. So a loss of seven on the play. It'll be third down and 13. Weevil defense needing to stop here with 11 minutes left to play in the game. Trailing by 10, third and 13. Trip receivers come wide right, one goes wide left in a bunch set. Play action, Michaels wanting to throw, rolling right, looking down the right sideline, throws it up. It's going to be broken up by Street. The defensive cornerback coming up. That's Daquan Street. Got a hand on it to knock it down. It'll fall incomplete, and Northwest Oklahoma is going to need, are going to have to punt it away. So two times in a row now, the Weevils have forced them to putt. UAM's going to have to take advantage of it. Caleb Jacobs back deep for the Weevils this time for the return man. Pressure coming. They get the punt off. Another long kick. Drives Jacobs all the way back to the 10. He bobbles the kick. He's going to fall on it at the five-yard line. Oh, my. That's going to end up being a 40 Make it a 55-yard punt. Jacobs bobbled it, falls on it at the six, and UAM will start from their own shadow of their own goal post. First and 10 at their own six-yard line, 94 yards away, down by 10 points with 10.34 left to play here in the game. Gennaro Scott in the backfield. Demayan out of the shotgun, leaves it with Scott right up the middle. Demayan. Gennaro, going to get it out maybe a yard, a half a yard, not much there. We'll call it second down and nine. Just about the length of a football is all he gained. So second and long. Ian Mesh is in at the tight end. Bunch set on the left side, tight set to the boundary. Hand off again, Scott. Scott, off tackle, flag comes in as he gets it out over the 10. He's going to be run out of bounds out near the 12-yard line, but a flag comes in at the line of scrimmage. You know, so that's think it's going to be a holding call against the Weevils. Actually, two flags on the play. The officials discuss what they're going to do. Holding the call against the Weevils. They half the distance to the goal. They'll mark it back, and so put it back inside the five. Well, it's going to put it back at the three-yard line. That'll make it second down and 13 now for the Weevils with 9.56 to play from their own three-yard line. Second down and 13. Brown out of his own shotgun. Takes the snap, flags come in before the play, and now they're going to let it go. He throws, it's complete. Out over to LeCedric Smith at the 20. LeCedric out to the 25 and going to be down there. If it was offsides against Northwest, if that's what the call is on the flag, the play will stand out to the 25-yard line. Looks like that's what it's going to be. 
like Northwest got into the neutral zone. Yeah, offsides called against the defense. The play will stand as the penalty is declined. Weevils will have it first and 10 out at their own 25-yard line now. Got out of bounds with 9.36 left to play. Weevils down by 10 points, 26 to 16, trying to come from behind here on homecoming. Brown bobbles the snap, and he's going to have to fall on it. Oh, my goodness. That one hit him right in the hands, and DeMayan just has a fall on it back at the 19-yard line. That'll be a loss of six on the play, second down and 16. Brown calling for the snap. Play action, rolling to his left. Brown looking, throws across his body. It's complete to Caleb Jenkins out over the 34, out into the 33-yard line. He steps out of bounds immediately as he makes the catch. It's going to be about two yards shy of the first down, so it'll bring up a third down and two now for the Weevils. Clock stopped with 8.53 to play on the out-of-bounds play. Brown hands off Gennaro. Gennaro cuts it to his right. He's got the first down and more across the 35 to the 40. Going to be proudly brought down out of the 44-yard line. Gennaro Scott getting close to 100 yards on the afternoon. One touchdown. We got a couple of Northwest players shaking up on that final, that last play. They'll move the chains. It'll be a first down for the Bull Weevils out at their own 44-yard line with 8.40 to play in the ball game. They'll take the injury timeout down on the field. We'll keep it right here as they're tending to the Ranger players. It's 26 to 16. Northwest Oklahoma State has led. Since early in the first quarter, UAM jumped out to a 6-0 lead as they missed their extra point on their opening touchdown of the ball game. Northwest came back and scored, made it 7-6, went on to lead 13-6, led at halftime 13-9, and then Northwest scored 13 unanswered in the third quarter before the Weevils got on the board here in the fourth quarter. We're at 26-16, Weevils down by 10. They'll get the players off for Northwest Oklahoma State. Look like leg cramps is what they're bothered with. First and 10, UAM at their own 44. Demayan Brown, the quarterback. It's going to be a play action. Throw complete to Caleb Jacobs. Jacobs across midfield. He'll get it inside Ranger territory. Right at midfield, just inside the midfield stripe. As that'll be a gain of six on the play. And bring up second down and four now for the Bull Weevils. The wide receiver screen. Brown hands off to Manuel. Dorian trying to find some room. Nothing there. He's going to be dropped for no gain at midfield. Third down and four for the Bull Weevils. From the midfield stripe. 7.51 to play. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Brown calling for the snap. Hands it off. Manuel, he's tripped up in the backfield and going to be dropped for a one-yard loss. Back at the 49. It'll bring up a fourth and five for UAM, and UAM's got no choice but to go for it. Actually, they mark it back at the 48. So a fourth and six. DeMayan, hard snap count. They'll jump off sides. Free play. DeMayan airs it out from Mansfield. It's going to be overthrown down at the 20-yard line. Weevils knew they had a free play. There's a couple of flags, both of them at the line of scrimmage, and I think that Northeast was or Northwest was in the uh, neutral zone. Offsides against the defense. It's not enough for the first down. It'll remain fourth down, but instead of being fourth and six, it'll be fourth and one now for UAM. They'll spot the football at the Northwest 47-yard line. 26-16 our score. Weevils down by 10. Fourth and one. Empty backfield. Demayan Brown calling for it. He'll keep it himself. Cuts back against the grain. He's got the first down as he'll carry it inside the 45 down to the 44-yard line. Needed the yard, and he got two. 
So the Weevils move the chains, keep the drive alive, keep their hopes alive here with 7-10 left to play in the game. Trailing by 10. Demaya, one to throw, straight drop, looking. Stops with 5.52 left to play in the ball game. The incomplete pass helps the Bone Weevils as it stops the clock here. Now Northwest looking into the sideline, trying to get the play called. Dakota Michaels, the quarterback, one receiver, Romero comes wide right. Twins go wide left on second and 10. Going to hand it off as Gill. Gill hit at the line of scrimmage. 
no gain. Weevils will swarm him there as there's about five green jerseys all over the ball carrier. It'll bring up a third down and 10 now for Northwest Oklahoma State from their own 21 yard line. Make it to 22. They did give him a yard on the forward progress. So third and nine for Northwest. Ball on the right hash mark. We're down to 520 left to play in the game. This is your game right here, though. The Weevils have to make a stop here to have a chance. Third down and nine. Michaels out of the gun. Trip receivers go wide left. One comes wide right. Empty backfield. Flags come in. And now, nope, no flags. But Northwest calls the timeout before the play is snapped. 5-0-1 remaining in the game. It's 26-23. Northwest leads it by three. Northwest takes the timeout. We're back in just a moment. Weevils down by three. Third down and nine for the Rangers from their own 21. Michaels wanting to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Now throws to the left. It's complete out in the flat at the 30. He'll dive toward the first down marker at the 31-yard line, and I believe he got it. That was Gill who came out of the backfield. He'll make the catch and keep the drive alive, and that keeps the clock moving as he stayed in bounds. First and 10 Rangers, they'll go empty backfield now and four wide on first down from their own 31. Michaels quarterback draw. He's gonna be hit and dropped for a loss in the backfield. Coming through to make the stop on him for UAM is gonna be Christian Felix. A gain of one, no, no gain on the play. Second down and 10, down to 422. Weevils have three timeouts remaining. Northwest has one. Timeout remaining here in the second half. But Northwest is going to use all the play clock they can, all the game clock they can here on this possession. Second down and 10 from their own 31-yard lines. They lead by three. Michaels looks over the defense, takes the snap, option. They've done the reverse. Weevils have it. Ball's loose on the ground, and there's a scramble for the football. I believe Northwest has fallen back on it, back at the 24-yard line. Northwest tried to reverse. They handed it off to Isaiah Kellum. Kellum lost a handle on it. Weevils couldn't come up with it, but a big loss on the play all the way back to the 24-yard line. That's going to be a loss of seven on the play. It'll bring up third down and 17. UAM's going to call a timeout here with 3.39 remaining in the ball game. It's going to be third down and 17 for Northwest Oklahoma State when play resumes. They lead it 26 to 23. They led at halftime 13 to 9. They scored 13 unanswered in the third quarter. Weevils have come back. To score 14 unanswered in the fourth quarter. And now this will be your ball game right here. A third down and 17. Weevil defense needs to make a stop here. If they can make it, they'll get the ball back. A lot of time left and still two timeouts remaining. As Northwest will come to the line of scrimmage. What kind of offensive set they have. Weevils are going to stay in a four-man front defensively. Michaels, the quarterback. 
Gill, the lone setback. He'll line up on the left side of Michaels. Trip receivers come wide right. Ball on the left hash mark. So the wide right will be the wide side of the field. Michaels straight drop. They'll rush four. Roaming to his left, looking deep down the field. He's going to throw. It's going to be incomplete. Down at the Weevil 40-yard line. Double coverage down there. As you had uh, Catron Allen back there on defense, along with Greg Hooks. That'll stop the clock with 3.32 left to play in the game, and Northwest going to have to punt it away. And the Weevils should get it somewhere up around the 40-yard line, you would think. However, their punter has been really getting it. Saw some good punts. He had a 55-yard punt and a 49-yard punt. This one partially blocked. It's tipped at the line, and it's going to be hit and roll out of bounds at the 43-yard line, and that's where the Weevils are going to have it at the Ranger, 43-yard line. Not sure who got a hand on it, but it was partially tipped and partially blocked. A short punt, and the Weevils will have it first and 10 at the Ranger, 43-yard line with two timeouts and 3.25 left to go on the clock. Homecoming crowd has not left. Everybody's still here, and most of them are on their feet. First and 10, Bo Weevils at the Ranger, 43-yard line. Weevils trying to come from behind. Brown calling for it. Brown hands it off. Gennaro Scott, right side. Brown, or Scott, cuts it up at the 40. They'll get it down to the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of three. Gennaro now with 107 yards on the afternoon on 28 carries. Second down and seven for the Weevils. Brown, again, handoff. Scott cuts it to his left. Got some room at the 40, the 35, the 30. Breaks a tackle, falls forward down close to the 25-yard line. Gennaro Scott ran through a couple of defenders. It'll move the chains. They'll stop the clock. An official timeout as there's an injured player for Northwest Oklahoma on the side here. It'll be first and 10 bow weevils at the 25-yard line of the Rangers. She had one of the defensive cornerbacks come up to make the stop on Gennaro Scott. And he is slow and getting up. They got him sitting up on the sideline there on the turf. But the Weevils get to preserve their two timeouts here with 2.55 left to play in the game. Northwest leading by three, 26 to 23. The injured player is going to be their cornerback over here on this near side, Dawson Merchant. He's going to get up and walk off the field under his own power. So UAM will have it first and 10 at the Ranger 25-yard line. Again, 255, plenty of time left to go in this ball game. Weevils trying to come from behind here on homecoming. Gennaro Scott stays in at the running back. Twin receivers go wide right. That's Caleb Jacobs and the Cedric Smith. Mansfield comes wide to the left. Ball on the left hash mark. Brown calling for the snap. Gets it. Hands it off again to Scott. Gennaro straight ahead. Gets a couple of yards, maybe down to the 22. They'll call it a gain of three on the play as Gennaro just running straight ahead off tackle on that left side. Gains three. Second down and seven now for the Weebles. Back up to the line of scrimmage. This time he'll go right side. Gennaro cuts back against the grain. Inside the 20 down to the 19-yard line. He's going to bring up a third down and a long four. Weevils quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes the run blitz. They're going to hand it off Scott. Scott stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And the Weevils are looking at fourth down and almost five. We're under two minutes left to play. Cock continues to run. Decision time for Coach Jackson. Do you go for the tie here? It would be about a 37-yard field goal. They're going to leave the offense and go for the win. Go for it right here on fourth down and five. Now they'll check it off. Brown changing the play, 12 on the play clock. 
Motion and War UAM is going to jump off sides. Oh, you left those big guys down in their stance too long. It's going to be a procedure call against the Weevils. Instead of third and five, it'll be third down and, I mean, fourth and five. It'll be fourth and ten for UAM. Grassotti already has a 48-yard field goal on the afternoon. Now they're going to send the field goal unit on and try to go for the tie. 26-23 with a minute 30, and the clock continues to run. Ball is at the 26-yard line. They'll spot it down at the 32, so a 42-yard attempt from the left hash mark for Crisati for the tie. Jacobs calls for it, gets the snap down. The kick is blocked at the line of scrimmage, and Northwest is going to fall on it. They'll have the football with a minute three left to play. Oh, my. They got the penetration up the middle and blocked the field goal attempt. Northwest will take over. UAM has two timeouts remaining. This one is going to be over with. Northwest is going to get their first win of the year here on the road in Monticello. 26-23, our score. The Weevils were facing a fourth down and 10 following the penalty. It would have been a 37-yard field goal attempt, and it was blocked. So the Ranger offense comes out, Dakota Michaels. Probably going to hand it off to Gill. Yep, he does. Hands it off Gill, left side, across the 30, out close to the 35-yard line. Going to be a gain of seven on that play. Weevils can stop it a couple of times as they'll use a timeout here and stop the clock with one minute left to play. Exactly one minute left to play in the ball game. Rangers led it 13-9 to nine at halftime. They scored 13 unanswered in the third quarter to go up 26 to nine. Weevils fought their way back as they score 14 unanswered in the fourth quarter and they're gonna come up short here in the ball game. It'll be second down, a gain of eight on that play. Second down and two for the Rangers when play resumes. UAM can stop the clock one more time. You know, it's about no point. If, if they get the first down here, there's really no point in trying to stop the clock. Rangers trying to pick up their first win of the year. Weevils look like they're going to fall to three and three on the season. As Michaels, the quarterback, Gill, the lone sent back. Weevils put four in the box, second down and two with one minute left to play. Michaels takes the snap, hands it off to Gill. Gill straight ahead, got the first down. As he'll carry it out close to the 39-yard line, they'll move the chains, and uh, they'll stop it long enough to move the chains, and they'll start the clock back. First and 10 Rangers at their own 39-yard line. They yeah, snap it one more time. They're going to go into a victory formation here as Michaels will move up underneath center. And the Rangers will let the play clock go down, and then they'll snap the football, and that'll be your ball game here this afternoon at homecoming. Weevils are going to come up disappointed as the Rangers snap it. They take the knee, and that's going to be your game. Our final score, 26-23. Northwest Oklahoma State, the Rangers get the win on the road over the Bow Weevils here at home this afternoon on homecoming. Don't go anywhere. We'll come back with our postgame show for you here from Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium right after this timeout. 